Good evening. Campaigners have made a last-ditch attempt to stop work on a multi-billion pound high-speed rail link cutting through the Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire countryside. Protesters say 500 acres of precious land is being cleared during the bird nesting season to make way for HS2. The company responsible for the work says it will be one of the most environmentally responsible infrastructure projects. The £56 billion rail link would run from London Euston to the Midlands and then on to Leeds and Manchester. The first phase isn't due to open until 2026. Opponents travelled to Birmingham today to hand in a petition with thousands of signatures. There for us was our transport correspondent, Mike Pearce. HS2, shame on you! HS2, shame on you! They came to the Birmingham headquarters of HS2 to make their voices heard. The concern is that 500 acres of countryside and woodland will be cleared during the bird nesting season. The work is near Steeple Claydon and to make way for the £56 billion project. They're sterilising 500 acres of uh, countryside and wildlife. They are literally going to rip out everything and turn it to a brownfield site to work from. And there's just absolutely no need why this needs to be done now. They don't know for certain they're going to be building anything in its place. It is just destruction whilst they can. The delegation of councillors and residents had wanted to see the HS2 chief executive, but he wasn't available. In fact, no one was prepared to come out to meet them. In the end, a small group were allowed in to hand over a 2,500 strong signature petition, with the media kept outside. We've come to say, will they please at least wait until they have plans and they've been given the go-ahead by government, who have not yet given them notice of permission to go ahead. And yet they're going to rip out all the hedges and the nests. So we are feeling, I'm sorry, I'm quite emotional about it. It's, it's not right. We appreciate the wildlife that's there. That's why we live in the country, but they're turning it into city land, a mudscape. No, there's no way. No one from HS2 would be interviewed, but they say it aims to be one of the most environmentally responsible projects ever delivered in the UK, with 35,000 trees being planted in the area. They say they're committed to reducing the potential impact on the environment and to holding regular information events. Well, it's understood work in Buckinghamshire could get underway within the next couple of weeks. Campaigners here say this is very much the start of their battle. There will be more demonstrations and more protests. Mike Pierce, ITV News, Birmingham.